What's up, guys? The best clash here. Back with another video. Tier at 7,445 trophies. Currently top 450 in the world right now. 457th, I mean. With six days and eight hours left in season. This season, I'm going to um, continue using this log bait deck here to fast Valkyrie. Um, I show Spirit Skeletons cycle deck because it's anti Mother Witch, anti E Giant. Basically, anti meta right now. It, it counters Goblin Drill pretty well. Counters Bridge Spam, Lava Hound. No, not Lava Hound. It counters Bridge Spam, Expo. Basically, any cycle deck. It's only weak against um, Giant Graveyard, uh, Lava Hound decks, and Balloon Cycle, like Balloon, Bowler, those kind of decks. Usually, those are not really common in the meta, so I'm doing pretty well so far. Go to my activity log here. I won against so matches today. Um, kind of tilted a little bit there. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys again against um, why it's really good against E Giant. It's a fast cycle. You can cycle two Teslas, and you don't have to worry about them lightning because they can't really lightning anything because you're gonna cycle back to another Tesla. Here's someone for Gonbrel in there, and he does he didn't tornado for re some reason. I don't know why. I'm just gonna log this Dark Prince back. I'm gonna block with skeletons here. Went for Electro Spirit after. If they cage, I'm gonna just go Princess Ops Lane like this. And I'm gonna go for the um, Valkyrie same lane as the cage right there. I'm not too worried about that baby dragon because I know that it's not gonna get that much damage because the princess gets two hits on it. Here he goes, he goes for a sneaky magic archer, so I go for a log, Electro Spirit. That saved me a couple hits from the magic archer. Anyways, our deck cycle is fast, so we're not worried about overexpending on defense a little bit. Unfortunately, those skeletons went for his skeletons, and we take one hit from the Dark Prince there. That's unfortunate, but we know what he has. I'm just going to go for Gombrel off to the side, left lane. I need to go opposite lane now. He tornadoes it um, back, but he kind of misses the uh, last goblin there, so we get a lot of damage there, so that was kind of lucky on us. He goes to the Baby Dragon. I'm not sure why he should have went for a magic archer right here. He got a, he would have gotten a lot of damage. We decided not to. Here, since he electro giant, I can pre-place my Tesla to kill that baby dragon, and also to cycle back to another one in case he wants a lightning. I'm just gonna pressure um, the Gombra like this because I know he doesn't have any spells. He kind of misplaces his uh, magic archer into my Tesla. That's basically minus four elixir. He decides not to lightning because I know it's probably an overcommitment by him. So went for skeletons to clean this electro giant up. For Princess Ops Lane again. Uh, pre place a Tesla so I can cycle back to another one. Uh, one for a Gombrel. Electro Spirit combination this time. Gives us a really another bad tornado. I'll try to protect our Tesla a little bit there. Um, goes for a Magic Archer again. Because of the Gombrel, because I know his tornado's out of cycle. I went for a high Tesla trying to snipe that Magic Archer, but it was kind of out of range. It's looking really solid for us. We take down that Electro Giant. His push dies, basically. He goes in for another one, but we can cycle back to another Tesla, guys. Because your cycle super fast. And it's not really good lightning, because E Giant's basically dead. I went for Aggressive Princess. Because I knew he was low on Elixir there. And he was. And I'm just going to put it Gone Barrel because his tornado is out of cycle. He has no good answer. I can go for Cycle Log here. I can soak that Dark Prince charge because basically our tower's at almost at full health there. And I go for the Rocket to finish this game off. Really nice. You don't have to worry, you don't have to worry about um, getting overwhelmed in Double Elixir because you can cycle two Teslas and... He didn't have a small spell like a Barbrel or a Bomber for Gombrel, so that was really nice for us. Shoot this game here. Uh, it didn't last very long. This guy kind of got outcycled, I think. 
even though he had a fire spirit and a fast um interesting log bait deck here. And for Gombrel, I'm just gonna log his Gombrel. He kinda was late there with his fire spirit, so we got two hits. He went for a Dark Prince. I just cycled a Tesla, I think. Open for Electro Spirit first and then went for a Tesla here. And since I knew he was playing a bait deck, I wasn't worried about using my Tesla on defense because he probably doesn't have a tank, like a giant or electro giant or something. Went for Gombrow to pressure. And his cycle was bad that time. And we went for a log here. And our Valkyrie was really bad by him because he just died to our Tesla and our Valkyrie there. He's going for a Dark Prince. I'm just going for a Princess off slain here, low. And we'll for um Electro Spirit. I went for High Skeletons because I knew I needed to kill that Princess. Not bad so far. Go for a Gonbro Aggressive. Let's go for a Fire Spirit once again, but he's kind of late, so we get some damage there. Goes with a Gone Barrel, so I'm just going for a Log. I'm going to go for Aggressive Princess. And he's kind of late on his Dark Prince there. I knew he was, he was low on Elixir. And we got so much damage here. And basically, um, I think this wins us the game here. Went for a Princess. I'm just going for a Tesla. That was a bad Electro Spirit. It just died. Basically, we have over 1,000 HP um, damage lead. And there's no way he's going to make a comeback, even though he tries to rocket cycle us, because I think our cycle is pretty much the same. Elixir cost, because we have skeletons and Electro Spirit. If we start rocket cycling, but um, goes for a late Fire Spirit again, decides not to rocket cycle us back, and that's basically a good game. Yeah, he decides he doesn't play any more cards, and that's an easy win right there. Pretty nice knowing when to uh, punish your opponent when they're low on Elixir of the Gone Barrel. That was a really bad Valkyrie in the start because it just died. Anyways, go for another um, Electro Giant match because that's all I'm playing today. Just Electro Giant, <laughs> uh, some Expo, and some interesting bait decks. That's about it. And this, and this deck here counters it all, so it's really nice. Went for Electro Spirit plus a. Uh, Log. He could have activated a King Tower, but he did not. Move a Gone Barrel anti nail position because I know he's playing a beatdown deck. Went for Aggressive Princess because I know he's not playing Night Witch. Because usually E Giant doesn't play Night Witch for some reason. We'll go for a nice Skeletons here. Um, Skeletons really good against uh, Inferno Dragon. Went for Electro Spirit to cycle. I think I cycled a Log on his tower here for chip damage. It's always important to get chip damage, guys. And I knew he just um, used his tornado earlier, so I went for a Gumbro aggressive there. Got a lot of damage, really nice. And we'll go for a, a Valkyrie right here. And it's gonna help counter the Goblin Brawler coming out of the cage. And in this match, I know he's playing the Mother Witch version, so I don't wanna use my, I wanna use my skeletons wisely and only against Inferno Dragon or when Mother Witch is out of cycle. So I'm gonna go for a log here to help kill the witch like this. He decides not to protect her. And he goes with a really bad Inferno Dragon off to the side like that. I mean, he's gonna get a free rocket value. If you know your opponent's not playing balloon guys or elite e barbs or something, it's okay to rocket because they're not gonna punish you. Okay, now he's um, going for a goblin cage. I'm gonna go for a goblin barrel like this. Anti NATO position, forced out a Dark Prince. Now he can't use that Dark Prince on his offensive push. Went for Valkyrie. And I'm just gonna suckle our princess in the back, I think. I went for Princess Aggressive because he went for Electro Giant in the back. Forced out a bomber. Valkyrie uh manages to kill his bombers really nice. Pre place a Tesla like this. And I think that's about a Marovich once again. Tesla's really good if you play it in the right spot. If they try to snipe your troops, they're not able to. Here I'm going to cycle back to another Tesla here, playing it high enough so I can kite the Dark Prince to help defend it. 
basically a GG at this moment right here because he can't really go in. So I'm going to cycle uh, another Valkyries, uh, East Spirit Skeletons, and a Tesla once again. Gave up with that Tornado. And that's basically a GG. Very nice. Valkyrie is really good DPS against Electro Giant. Um, you can always cycle two Teslas once again. And be careful about the Mother Witch. You don't want to give um, your opponent any Skeletons value. And get Rocket value when it's necessary on defense. And that's basically how you want to play this matchup. Very nice game there. Um, and into our last match. Against 2.9. I played Expo earlier today and I kind of choked it. I went for aggressive rocket and double elixir because I thought I was up in enough in damage and I thought um, I was up in elixir lead as well. But it turns out that he's went for Expo and he just had Foy elixir and just um, defended it. And he got a lock on my tower, which was unfortunate. I always learned my lesson against 2.9 is that if you're playing this deck against it, you always want to save your Rocket for Expo if you know that they're a really good player and only try to use your Tesla Valkyrie combination when they don't have any distraction units in their hand, like Skeletons or Archers. Went for a other spirit like this. Went for a High Princess up high because I knew that if I played it low, you just want to Fireball it. Um, I decided to log the left, the right hand side here. Went for skeletons, I think. No, I did not go for skeletons. Well, I should have went for skeletons there. Went for Gone Brawl. Aggressive. He goes for a log. Went for Ice Spirit. I'm just going go for my Electro Spirit like this. I'm going to go for a, a High Princess once again so I won't give him any Fireball value. And this guy's pretty playing, playing it pretty good right now. Going for Rocket Log. He's not giving me any... Um, Princess value at the bridge. He's always um, playing something in the middle, so that's really well played of him. He's going for skeletons in the middle here, try to t um, deny some damage. You only get one hit. So far, as long as we um, don't mess up, keep up with their cycle, and end up rocket cycling and double and triple, we should win the game. For a Gone Brawl like this, I'm not going to support with the Electro Spirit because I know he's going to have Log. Very nice Electro Spirit here. I don't want to use anything else. For Aggressive Princess, well played with the Skeletons there. I'm just going to cycle a log, go for Skeletons. Going for Electro Spirit just in case he was back to Expo, but he wasn't. Here I knew he was going to set up an Expo, so I went for Aggressive Valkyrie plus a Princess Obsolene and go for a Tesla. He uses log. Um, I went for a Gone Burl. And he didn't have enough elixir. He was busy trying to defend his expo there. It was really hard to um, defend against uh, Tessa if they have a, a tank in front, like a knight or a Valkyrie. Went for Aggressive Princess. Force out Archers, really good. Here I went for a Prediction Tesla. That's really nice because um, I know I was up in Elixir and it forces him to play more Elixir, try to defend his expo. Somehow we outcycled his uh, log there. That was really nice. I thought he missed his log on purpose, but he did not. We actually outcycled his log, guys. Um, I want to show you guys one more time. And not because he missed his log, we outcycled it. And it's really rare to outcycle 2.9 because that's like one of the fastest cycle decks. But we managed to do so. Once again, um, log is the next card. Went for a Gone Barrel. Had to use an Ice Spirit. And his logs in hand. I'm going for a Grizzle Princess. Well, can you look at that, guys? Back to another Gone Barrel. That's what I like so much about this deck. If you just outcycle his log hard, it's really a good game there. Because if he were to Fireball, um, he had to deal with the Princess down low with the Valkyrie there. It's just too much. That's a good game. Very really nice, really strong uh, log weight deck in the meta. I'm definitely going to use it for the rest of the season because it's pretty. Um, Pretty viable and has favor of most matchups in the meta. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's kind of long, but anyways, top 457th in the world. Six days left. See you guys later. Bye, guys.